there in the background. She doesn't mean it like that. She's just yes, been disappointed a little bit too often. We're going to play the first class today, the Hidden, and uh, probably going to swap over to the Tempest later. Today I unlocked this guy here, uh, this lady here. I haven't played this game too much yet. Tutorial, and then went into the next one. So I've started to play around with uh, the with the uh, bleed build from the hidden. So we're going to stick with that because here I know what I'm doing and the next one we're going to swap on over into something where I'm not knowing what I'm doing. All right, so we see here our starting uh, cards or basically our, our signature moves. We have a uh, spell that's unique with this selection. As you see here, the starting spell is different there. Uh, the spell is, well, if you come from um, Tainted Grail, you would be familiar with it with a similar mechanic. Um, basically, this is a spell that's according that uh, that's linked to your hero. It ain't a card; it's just uh, on your hero, and uh, therefore your selections do matter. So here, when you look up the Tempest, she also comes with two templates: Thunder and Lightning. Although that sounds a little bit weird, because Thunder and Lightning are technically the same. Whatever. Um, as you see here, there's also different starting spells, different starting artifacts. Well. Ish. <laughs> Here the rogue seems to be starting with the same stuff. And um, streak counter, difficulty counter, so there's a lot of goodness. I'm going to explore all the other nice things along the road. So let's get started. Bleed is a damage over time build, which I enjoyed a ton, so I want to play it one more time. So we get a uh, set of cards to begin with, so I'm going to go over these in a minute. These are five cards I can use for building my deck. We have now a preparation phase where I haven't unlocked anything, so the game gives me one health potion as a consolation price. Later you can use single single um, cards from your character class, which you can, which you are allowed to start with to define your strategy right from the get-go a little bit more. Right now we don't have that luxury, so let's uh, let's head on over. So here, if I understood that correctly, these are the bosses we're going to face, I think. And uh, let's uh, let's have a good go. I, I haven't understood all the mechanics uh, thoroughly yet, just a portion there. So deck building in this game is pretty cool. Your deck is always 20 cards, not one less or more. And therefore you are also allowed to swap out and uh, swap your cards in and out between fights as you see fit. It's pretty cool because this means we won't be uh, hustling around with uh, taking cards out of our deck for, as a reward, which feels always pretty sucky. Here, take this reward as the, as the reward you are allowed to remove a card from your deck. So this always felt a bit wrong, even though it is a powerful mechanic. But here we don't have to deal with those shenanigans. Very, very, um, very much liking that. So here we see our cards. You see the red ones are our attacks. The blue ones are our defensive moves, and we got a bit of a of some extra moves. So let's check them out. Blade Storm is pretty cool. Blue is not always defensive, as you see here. It's uh, also utility. Supplies bleed to the enemy. Let's take out one evade and put in one blade storm. Scheme um, is giving me combo. I'm going to explain what combo is good for once we get into the first fight. But this is really, really good. You, It's enough to know that uh, combo is making uh, a, a lot of uh, the cards of this dude stronger. So shield wall block plus two for each ability blade this turn. All right, the finisher block, why not? Pretty powerful, I don't want to have it. Gil, apply a one turn debuff that makes the target suffer bleed equal to my excess block. Wonderful. Convert block into damage, I like that. Building steam, each time you play a swift card, deal two damage to a random enemy. Well, that's wonderful. As you see here, this one is labeled buff, and this is basically like enchantment, it's like something bad you are, or you have some buff that you're keeping. So we play that card and it will be uh, online for the remainder of the fight. Since this is dealing damage, I'm going to put this uh, up here instead of a uh, combat card. And now we're good. So let's get started, shall we? So 
we may be getting a upgrade point, a couple of souls, or a random class uncommon. No thanks, I don't want a random class. Oh no, wait a sec, that's random from my class. So, seize exertion. Well, let's see what we got there. Apply one slow. Slow is reducing frenzy of the attack of the enemy. That's pretty good. Frenzy is the amount of attacks the enemy will do. And if I if the enemy's bleeding, I can apply that to everybody on the enemy side. Hmm. Well <clears throat> I think this is actually quite good. Let's take that in as well and experiment a little bit with it. So here's our path for from here to the boss, so I, I'm allowed to look up what a rewards I will get from the specific fight, which is pretty cool. Gain one energy for each bleeding enemy. Splatter. Deal damage. Deal five damage. Swift. Okay. So every card that's labeled with swift is interacting with combo. Swift cards get cast several times if I have combo. I'll take the I'll take the splatter here. I want that. Alright, here we get a brief introduction of our enemies. Bit of a warning what's uh, what their strong side is. And uh, well, let's start the battle. Okay, so uh, a brief introduction there. This is my stuff that I can't cast. This is the cost of every card. This is my action points. This is uh, how much damage these guys will do per attack, the blue one. And the yellow one is how often they will attack if they attack. So as you see here, the Dark Echolide will inflict three threat. Well, threat is basically the attack. More of that in a second. Let's see, three, one times. That's that. And um, this game is pretty funky in so far that threat is uh, delayed damage. The enemy at first applies threat to you, and then in the next turn I have to block that. I'm not blocking the, turn the damage directly. It's feeling a little bit weird in the first place, but it's actually not, because it, um, it actually feels really good once you get used to it. So down here we're seeing our own energy, activated now gaining steam or building steam, so whenever I play a swift card, I deal damage. It's pretty good, I have a lot of swift cards. And uh, as you see here, 105. So I can also right-click and uh, dissolve cards of mine. As you see here, I gained energy for that. That's purging. So every card you don't need can be purged for energy, which is really, really fun. So let's play out scheme so I get lots of combo next turn and uh, hurt somebody. Draw blood, deals some damage, and adds a uh, other card into my hand. And that's our friend, the Silent Shiv. It applies bleeding, it's swift, but it's also balanced. This is a nice combo. So swift cards trigger with combo, but since they are balanced, they don't use up combo. Sounds a little bit complicated, but this means I, I was allowed to play that card twice, because I have one point of combo, and... Uh, get used up here. So let's take out that card and uh, see what the enemy does to us. So, there we go. As you see here, the enemy applied threat to me, and if I'm not blocking this turn now, it's going to be transformed into damage next turn, and uh, well, didn't leave a single card for blocks on my hand, so that's the problem. That's now my problem. But, uh, well, let's first apply bleeding to everybody. As you see here, the red line is uh, depicting how much they will, uh, how much damage they will take next turn. So let's play some draw blood cards. And uh, here we go. I will now take some damage. Five points will seep through. But the enemy will now bleed down in no time wasn't uh, played too well. I should have kept one uh, block on my hand, but uh, I'm new here. I'm allowed to do mistakes. So, our rewards, essence, that's basically money, souls, some other sort of money, 
and an upgrade point. Upgrade points are awesome. So we are now allowed to upgrade one of our cards. So I feel like I might have put out one evade card too much. So let's see. Mm. Blade Storm, apply bleed in a higher amount. Congeal, what's that? Oh, if I if I upgrade that, it loses the expel mark. Everything which has expel is only castable once per fight. Easy explained. So let's see. All right, seize exertion can uh, could apply slow even harder. Well, what to upgrade? What to upgrade? And so the uh, the hidden's block is also um, benefiting from bleed on the enemy. More bleed per uh, more block per bleed. So, hmm, hard decision, really, really hard decision. Probably upgrading splatter right away. There, right now. So, we're going to upgrade the, one of our blocks. I like these uh, upgraded as well, makes them way more powerful. All right, so let's uh, replace uh, one of our draw blood cards with splatter. It's a nice burst and I also feel like I really want to have maybe one lick the knife less and uh, evade in. Lick the knife is a combo generator. Pretty cool because it has a mechanic that consumes bleed to make it bounce back to my hand. So what's the reward here? Um, we're going to give summary execution deal five damage gain one hidden blade and uh trigger plus one card effect repeats one additional times so okay that's a bursty card not that interested what's a fun part here is i can also move here and then here sometimes there's hidden stuff on empty uh fields well i'm not a big fan of that card here but, uh, well, we'll see about that. Alright, we get a pack of hounds there. So, these guys have passives. So, ignite this enemy will deal do 2 damage whenever it is target of an attack card. How annoying. And, uh, leader. When this enemy is destroyed, all the other enemies suffer weak. So, taking this guy out is pretty benef uh, beneficial for us. And this guy wants to add in Bane cards. Bane cards are just uh, crap that you don't want to have. So the interesting question there is, do I need anything extra? So whenever I target that guy, he'll take damage, eh? Is that a attack card? No, it ain't. Let's start with that. So... More combo? I think that's a great idea. So as you see here, Clot 3. Um, clot is a mechanic that eats three stacks of bleed to apply something. So here you see, as a reward for um, doing this, I got the card back on my hand. So I can play it now one more time, and boom, maxed out combo. Pretty sick. So let's dissolve one of these cards and uh, just... Uh, let's clap that puppy here. And... Um, as long as I have combo, these uh, little shivs get cast a lot of times. So, ending the turn, by the way, doesn't remove cards from your hand, which is pretty cool. You get to keep cards if you want to. Vault of the Void has a lot of uh, very, very innovative mechanics that really impressed me so far. So, let's see. There is no threat on me. Let's see. This guy wants to attack this turn, as you see here, 7 threat, 5 threat, and uh, this thing wants to heal to its full HP. I am no big fan of that, so let's see if we can make that... Uh... We can avoid that. Alright, so seize exertion, let's see, apply slow, and uh, it had clot since it was able to remove two bleed counters from that dude. Slow is now on everybody. And slow is basically just reducing the damage if the enemies already 
stacked up their stuff. Sounds a little bit esoteric right now, I know, but it all all makes sense. Don't you worry. So here we go. And there, there's the threat. Sky, well, can't avoid him getting healed, but that's okay. So here we now have racked up 12 points of threat, and every block that I play now, oh well, how about shield block, shield wall, well. More about it in a second. So let's kill that guy first. Boom, everybody received weak because that's the effect what that does. Apply enough bleeds. That guy, that guy is a goner now too. And now let's play a block. So as you see here, the damage um, disappeared. And excess block is not really beneficial for you at all. So what I'm doing now is I'm dissolving these cards and uh, end the turn there. Keep one block in my hand because, you know, might be useful in the next turn. And uh, we also gain a little bit of uh, extra energy. So three energy in the first turn and two energy each uh, subsequent turn. So... so. Let's just kill that guy. There we go. And you get an extra reward if the enemy was not allowed to wound you. Here, perfect fight bonus. Elixir of Execution. So, Sneak Artist will give two combo instead of one. What Sneak Artist? What the hell? So, potions here, by the way, have to are... You can either use them as an active or as a passive, so to say. Trigger targets bleed. Right. Let's see what we can do with that. I'm not interested in that card that I gained, because as a damage over time build, I don't feel like I want a direct burst attacks, so... Chest. We get to select one of these, and we also gain a bit of essence, a couple of souls, and one extra upgrade point so let's see what we're going to do with that leading edge deal damage gain hidden blades no thanks all swift cards attack cards played will also apply one bleed oh yes please that's really good bloody hell apply bleed five x times also very sexy nice burst but uh, i want that uh, something extra and now here goes the next upgrade let's see something extra gives two bleed gets more costly but i want that because you know the more bleed we got the more we follow the strategy over here well that's a little bit hidden behind the camera let's uh let's move that for a second you see here these gemstones i'll uh these can be attached to your cards which is a pretty cool mechanic so the blue cards, if we attach, if the blue stones, if we attach that to a card, we draw a card and discard a card whenever we play that one. And right now, I don't have any other ones. Not, not too, too bad. But that's okay. So, well, I don't think that C's exertion is really what I want to have. Let's put something extra in there. There we go. And beyond that, let's see how that plays out. First uh, shop of the game, so bloodthirst, gain energy, deal damage, hemolysis, oh yeah, a block spell that also applies weakness if the enemy is already bleeding, totally my cup of tea, deal damage if you have lost health this battle, trigger plus one, verb, no thanks. Hemolysis though is uh, really really cool, we're going to replace one of our uh, evades with that. I love a block that uh, is also debuffing the enemy at the same time. I mean, what's not to like about that, eh? So, what is up for us next? So, the spell child. A friendly young boy with the ability to impart knowledge. I have not the uh, minimum cost asset. And there's so much quality of life in this. As you see here, the game is actively warning me that this event would be pretty sucky for me right now because I wouldn't be uh, able to select anything. I like that so much. So let's go for an elite fight, you know, I want to. 
because artifacts are awesome. By the way here, ah, sneak artist, that's the thing. At the start of each turn, if at combo zero, combo one. All right, so I always have combo. And after four turns, I get a max combo increase. Wonderful. So our enemy is the corpse mound, attack 13. And at the start of turns, it gains one extra attack point, so this thing grows stronger and stronger. 13 attack is also a pretty high amount, but, uh, well, let's see. I get an artifact to choose. Strange Stimulants, max combo is one lower. When I play an ability, I gain one combo, no thanks. Pretty cool, though, because it makes combo rack up way faster. At the start of each turn, apply bleed to all vulnerable enemies. For each weak enemy, block two. For each slow enemy, delay block two. Alright, delayed block comes next turn. This one is really, really good. I think I want that. Camel Cloak. Every third turn, your threat stack won't trigger. Pretty sick, too. That means every third turn, I'm allowed to ignore damage. But uh, I want that glass prism. I like that. So, we're going to focus into debuffs then, because debuffs are now so awesome, because, you know, vulnerable enemies start to bleed, weak enemies uh, give me block, slowed enemies give me block too. What's not to like about that? So, what does this guy want to do? Um, add me two dazes into my deck. Daze, dazes are blind cards that just uh, crap your hand and uh, are bad for you. So, something extra, because, you know, give me a lot of extra bleed. Let's dissolve, dissolve this uh, card here, slap out one draw blood, and uh, give this guy some bleed. So, going to purge one of these blocks because I think shield wall should be definitely enough to, uh, to block that guy for sure. And so, here you see now the daze is uh, blocking a big portion of my hand. Daze is always added on top of the deck, so whenever the enemy dazes, you are guaranteed to, to have a portion of your card draw um, denied. It's a pretty cool mechanic, you know, and uh, I really, really like that. So we're going to slap draw blood on this guy. Deals damage, gives me silent shifts, and as you see here, because they are swift cards, Whenever I play a swift card, I apply extra bleed. So we already we already have 17 bleed on this guy. Bleed is pretty simple. It has it deals now 17 damage to him and gets reduced by one per turn. End of the story. So we're going to end the turn. And here, if you are new to the game, it's a little bit weird. The attack is now inflicted, but I have to block it the turn after. That's just how the game uh, works with uh, stuff like that. So let's uh, slap a scheme for more combo and uh, shield wall to absorb this. There we go. We're good. So let's see. I'm going to just uh, to purge this card for now because I really feel like I can't allow myself to play that right now. And, uh, well, we're going to purge the Blade Storm too. And, uh, there we go. So, let's see how that'll play out. So now we're at 16 threat, but this guy is also bleeding slowly. One more. Alright, Himalesis, nice. Is block, adding block, and weakening the enemy. Weakening is reducing the attack power, as you might have already thought, so we only need to block 10 more so damage points uh, where we're slowly getting there. So let's slap out an evade, it's only 3. Let's see, my class skill would apply even more weakness, but uh... Let's see... But I think weakness is not getting stronger the more often I uh, apply it, you know. So, let's see. I'll drop the splatter, draw blood, 
Silent Shiv, and now Fort of Throat. This is a regular Swift card without balance, so when I play that, all the combo will get used up. But it might. I get to play that now uh, five times, so. As you see here, we add a dirty bleed. Totally worth it. We need to stab that guy at some point. But I, I really like the mechanics of this game a lot. So, the enemy is not applying any threat to me, so what I'm not doing now is pretty boring. I'm just ending my turn because I know that this guy is going to die. He applied threat to me, but uh, the moment the enemy dies, the damage won't come together. It's a little bit confusing at first, but uh, I got used to it quite quickly, and it's a fun system that works uh, a little bit differently there. So, uh, oh no. Well, we cannot afford anything here because I don't have enough uh, resources here. So I gained a green stone. This is uh, sadly behind the camera. I'm sorry about that. But it's a very, very good uh, gem. So let's uh, move the camera for a second. So rigged. At the start of the battle or when my deck is reshuffled, place this card on the top of your deck. The green stones are really cool because they allow you to uh, to get a single card as a uh, as a standard start. So what I'm going to do here, uh, the something extra card, receives that stone now, and whenever the combat starts, this thing is on top of my deck. I like that. Since I'm a bleed-based deck, I want that. Not the worst choice. Soul Collector. Minimum cost 7 souls, so I'm totally able to afford that, so let's go for that. I'm allowed to buy myself an artifact here, so when playing a balanced card at zero combo, block four. Alright, it's uh, usually I want to avoid that scenario, but uh, well, why not? Expel all afflictions. Alright, this is a card that removes all um, debuffs out of my deck, if I understand that correctly. Oh, the Raven's Gift. So, yeah, well. Or a healing spell. Well, let's go for the Raven's Gift. Let's see what's that. The Raven's Gift gives is a uh, is a interesting artifact, but it comes with a uh, Void card. And Void cards really, really suck. They, uh, they really are no fun. Right? So, the first time each turn I play an attack card, add a Volatile Light It Up. What's lighted up? Deal 9 damage, overcharge, swift, expel, volatile. Alright, so this would be a very bursty thing. Overcharge gives you extra energy the next turn, and now I can either accept it and accept the curse as well, destroy the item and gain souls like crazy, or just take a low amount of souls. Um, void cards really, really suck, uh, you know. They, you really don't want them, and because I'm a noob, I'm not forcing them to my, uh, into my deck right now. Although I could have done that, because at a shrine I can remove them. So, let's go. There's another uh, elite fight up ahead of me. So... That's gonna be cool. So the re reward is underhanded tactics. Deal four damage. If the target's attacking, apply weak and vulnerable. Hell yeah, I like that. This is exactly my cup of tea. So we had that fight before, but the enemy had lower HP. So this is something, uh, some recurring uh, theme of this game too where you will see the same pack of enemies, but uh, with a higher or lower um, threat rating. So I keep one card, uh, one evade card on my hand, because there's already, it's pretty clear to see that there will be um, threat next turn. So it's worth keeping one block on your hand. First turn, I did that wrong. So here we lock that away. And now, well, let's go. F uh, let's go for the throat. And I want to try this thing out here. So, as you see here, when I play, whenever I play a balanced card at zero combo, I'm supposed to gain block now. I want to try out if I understood that correctly. But yes, here. 
as a matter of fact. It really does work. Although it sucks to have zero combo. But, uh, this does give me a uh, benefit of by, by being at zero combo. Not the worst, not the worst. Although here you see there's a crap ton of threat incoming now. So that's really bad. So, let's see. Protective stance. All enemies gain 20 fortitude. Well, there we go. And as you see here, the threat was increased even though I killed that enemy. That's because that's how the game works, you know? The uh, damage is, so to say, time delayed. But luckily, we're uh, we're able to block ourselves, block us out of this a little bit. Damn. Ah, I I misplayed that. My energy wasn't uh, was up. Whatever. We're going to keep that thing there. My bad. I could have played that better. So, here the Forsaken pub has resurrected itself. Uh, or, or no, there's reinforcements. Yeah, right. There's the reinforcements uh, thing. So, here you see the battle progress. As soon as you hit this uh, 200 person, the enemies stop respawning. Every enemy is offering a different amount of uh, battle progress. So, let's see. There, this guy is down. So you see here, as soon as this guy dies, the orb is at 100%. And uh, then we are officially done with this mess. Alright, so whenever I play Swift card, I apply bleed. I like that. Okay. I think I'm going to remove building steam eventually doesn't really fit into my strategy too well now that I uh, play it more closely. That's okay. There we go. Now, 10 threat to deal with, but that's okay. And now we can even use the excess block to transform it into bleed. Oh, wait a sec. I, I, had, I must have done that. Uh, the wrong turn order. First Congeal, and then the rest. But whatever. This is uh, very, very educated. So, we found a booster pack. In this scenario, I get all these cards. So, Blades upon Blades. Well, this is not really my cup of tea. Hidden Blade. There's another Scheme. Bloody Hell. Lick the Knife. Alright. So, well... I think I'm going to uh, remove building steam in favor of another scheme. I remove lick the knife in favor of another scheme. And we're going to add in some underhanded tactics there. And, uh, well, I need seize exertion now that I have this artifact which triggers so well with different uh, debuffs. Because debuffs are now the name of the game for my character. Alright, let's go for this elite fight, because, you know, elite fights are very, very lucrative. So, let's go. Skeletal Mage. Enemy will also increase Frenzy by 1 each time I lose HP. As you see here, this guy is only on 4 attack points, but it, he's attacking 4 times. So, slow will really, really hurt him. So, Purifier Diadem. The second card you purge each turn causes all debuffs suffered to be reduced by one. Alright. That's pretty cool for me. Increase the rate of the Void Stone bar fields by 350%. By the way, up here, this is um, showing me the stones which I'll earn to, in, to upgrade my cards with. Each turn, the first time I spend combo, draw. Cool. That's pretty nice. But I don't want that. That was just too fun. Tons of upgrades, so... Something extra. Hey, Alpha Dash. So happy to see you, man. I was just wondering if uh, if there's uh, nobody talking today, or uh, if my microphone is muted or something like that. So, 
Sadly, I don't have the energy to play uh, both cards, so we're going to go for Draw Blood and the Shift afterwards, because that's more bleed than applying Blade Storm. We have to stay update with the bleed, you know. Alright, so 16 damage incoming. Next turn, that is. And uh, what's his next action? Power of the Void, 5% Fortitude and plus 1 attack point. Yuck. Remove all debuffs on top of that. I hate you, man. So uh, we he he's going to lose all the uh, all the bleed that uh, he's rocking right now, and he's also going to lose all the debuffs right now. So uh, well, sucks to be me. Not using underhanded tactics then this turn because it will, it would be a waste of resource. So. This is a really, really crappy turn for me, because I don't have, uh, I wasn't able to block. I'm suffering a nice amount of damage, increasing his uh, his damage, and it's getting only worse and worse. But this turn, I'm allowed to punch this guy a lot. So I'm going to be confused and uh, attacks with frenzy one. Well, we'll see about that. So first off. Are you kidding me? I don't have any bleed here on... Okay. Wow. Yikes. Ah, now he's bleeding. Good. I would have been really, really nasty if I, uh... Wouldn't have been able to get that guy bleeding. So here. Put out Scheme. Let's remove Splatter. And, uh, well... There we go. Let's see how that'll play out. Confusion is uh, increasing the energy cost of all cards this turn. This is really, really annoying. So as you see here, everything on my hand is now more costy. I hate that effect quite a lot. So we're going to remove the majority of cards here on the hand for the sake of energy generation and see how the next turn will play out. I am going to use uh, my uh, class skill though to slap on some more uh, down rates there. Gabu, hi there! Yeah, I'm... I didn't play the game in the, in the past because it was early access. Basically, that's the entire story with me and uh, that game. Totally looked like my cup of tea the whole time, but I just didn't play it because it's uh, been early access. So, Kongil is now going to transform all the extra block into uh, damage. I'm not going to go greedy now, as uh, even though I would love to. It would be awesome to slap that shield ball into his face and uh, make it... Um, make it... Uh, transform it into damage, but this guy is going to attack me next turn, and I need to block for the next turn as well. Let's go not too crazy. I am already a void. I am already. I, uh... <laughs> I'm, I'm really enjoying myself a ton here, so... Let's do this. Uh, Hemolysis and Evade will be doing the trick good enough for me. There's one Blade Storm. Well, I'm going to remove that. And let's go for the throw. That's that. So, Shield Wall. I am going to keep that as an emergency button. I don't like to be out of this. Especially against the guy that deals so much damage. So, next turn we'll be slapped with Confusion. I hate that, but what can I do? So, Underhanded Tactics. Wonderful. This will hurt the sky by a lot. Yeah, I am uh, playing the Bleed Rogue, right? So here we go. So. Sucks to be in this situation right now, but let's use Splatter. I could have used Splatter for way more damage than I did here, but uh, it's better than... Uh, i rather do it like that. Okay. So next attack, 16 threat incoming. Owies. So, if I manage to play something here without 
Yeah, let's do this. So, apply bleed. Dissolve that. Dissolve that. Oh no, the shift also costs energy. Whatever. Locked away that for this turn. Let's see what I'll get there. Confuse really, really hurts me a ton, but, uh, well. Yuck. So, not a single block card has entered my hand. Well, okay. Probably need a bit more, um, a bit more, um, defensive stuff here on my hand. Or in my deck, I mean. It does happen a little bit too often for my taste, but well, that's okay. It's an elite fight. Elite enemies are allowed to hurt you, aren't they? Oh, here we go. There's only a very low amount of damage incoming this turn. We can end our turn. Please start to bleed to death then. Alright, so that wasn't too optimal, but uh, whatever. It worked out in the end, and I gained a really cool artifact. So, let's see. What do I have here? Rage. This turn, attack and affliction cards deal more damage. Yeah, I mean, that would be... It'd be silly to not use that, you know? So we're going to use, we're going to put what onto the Hemolysis, well, yeah, some extra block on the Hemolysis card, why not, and uh, we're going to use the remaining evades, oh yeah, let's put blue void stones on them. This upgrades them in a wonderful way. This way, when I use the remaining evades, they are replenishing my deck a little bit, or my hand, I should rather say. I like the idea of that. And uh, let's slap Black Void Stone on top of that one. Black Void Stones copy the card when uh, when you play it or when you draw it. I'm not sure about that, but it's pretty. It should be pretty nifty. So I have the um, Red Void Stone. This turn attack and affliction cards deal more damage. So well, let's see. Let's put that on top of this one. I'm really supposed to use these stones because I get them now at a uh, insane temple due to the uh, artifact I picked up. So Ghostly Piranha, Maneuver, block four, draw one, hell yeah. Just my cup of tea. Low amount of block though, so gotta be careful with that. So Swift cards turn into bleed, here we go. And let's see, transform splatter away. And uh, get that down. Well, I don't want to um, I don't want to destroy that evade here for the next turn because there is at least uh, twelve damage incoming next turn. So let's be careful about that. I'm vulnerable, so it's going to be even more. And uh, yeah, there's. Uh, Nothing good incoming. So as you see here, well, it's at least a chance to get some uh, something to uh, ease the pain, you know. So underhand tactics versus scheme. So let's weaken the guy at least. I think that's the best I can do. Ow. But I mean, what are HP good for if you're not using them? There we go. So, shield wall incoming. Right. Just what you need in that kind of situation. So, seize exertion. So, the enemy's uh, stuff is getting weaker. Although, well shouldn't have done that. Probably should have just blocked, eh? Yeah, whatever. Let's hope that at the end of the level I get some healing. If not, the situation will be become quite interesting. So... Ah, uh, there's now lots of blocks. Tons of blocks, literally. So we need 9 block here, so cheap solution, and let's keep clapping there, use that combo, you know, 
would be a shame to, to waste that. damage incoming we should be able to evade that uh, to uh, to get rid of that so there we go already already removed that threat destroyed that guy so 15 freaking damage 25 damage good lord these things are quite vicious aren't they so, I'll splatter that guy so we can't just avoid that damage. Some burst is also pretty good. I just, uh, I'm just starting to realize that. So, let's see. Let's upgrade the hemolysis, I think. Yeah, let's do this. Or... I'm really tempted to upgrade this one too because it's a lot of slow on all enemies. Really, really a lot of slow. But uh, I end up being hurt so much every fight, so I really, really want to be careful. Okay, Skeleton King. I already took this guy down once. Let's hope it'll work one more time. So, there's 16 threat incoming next turn, so we already know what we are up against. These two cards here will be enough, so I'm going to scheme and uh, we're okay with that. There we go. Got all the necessary blocks though. So that's a fun combo, so let's play Congeal and underhanded tactics, well I would love to but I think we're, I don't think we're going to be able to pull this off. So block, so I get a copy of that one now, oh yeah, we are able to play underhanded tactics here, wonderful. Oh, I didn't expect him to explode like that. Whatever, it's not the worst thing. I have one more evade on my hand. There's only four um, damage incoming, so we'll be uh, we'll be rocking the boat like that. Wonderful. So fresh skeleton minion popping up. This is uh, this is just this guy. Uh, that's how he works, you know. That is that's his uh, mode of operations. So let's drop the splatter because I really don't need that. Himalises for the next turn, awesome, and let's just hurt him a bit. Combo is low, so lead stacks are racking up rather slowly as well. But it's okay. Next scheme card will come around for sure. So... We're allowed to apply some weakness. I should have applied that on this guy instead. Damn. That was not smart of me. Whatever. I'm going to be able to... Uh... Oh no. I don't want that. I want this. Then that. And then this. So we get the free block. Wonderful. Shield wall is up for me next turn. And let's keep whacking. It's really important that I uh, focus my my attacks on this guy, the Skeleton King, because the moment he dies, the combat is won. So, simple like that. Alright, so Shield Wall first, so I'm not going to take, take any damage. And uh, we're going to go for Scheme and Seize Exertion, so lots of slow on everybody. And uh, because of our artifact here, slow enemies give you block for our next turn, so that's going to be pretty, pretty nifty. So delay block two. Boom. Alrighty, still require a bit of a block there. I take the this one here. Well, let's discard this one. Do I want to blade storm? Actually not. I have full combo. I want the draw blood. 
because uh, here we go. Due to the high combo amount, let's see how much bleed I can apply now. It's crazy. Alright. Keeping this one on my hand for the next turn. Because there's quite a lot of damage incoming. But luckily, this card. Let's see. First off, well. Yeah, it's okay. This card duplicates itself, so we only take 6 damage there, that's okay. Actually, we take no damage whatsoever because we are able to hemolize ourselves out of that situation. And I'm going to use my class skill to win that. My class skill is applying vulnerability, and vulnerable enemies take more damage from bleed as well. Pretty cool mechanic, by the way. And, uh... I win. He loses. That's that. So, new spell from Dust. So, let's see. The Well of Stars. I get one. Receive booster pack with a guaranteed rare. Um, Promise of the Archer. Look, 12th time I play a card with a base cost of two or more in a battle. Inflict eight damage to a random enemy five times. Cool. I want that. And here I can get one for free. A booster pack with a guaranteed rare, additional max HP, or two upgrade points. So I want that. I'm not too happy with my uh, with my pots so far, so let's do something about that. So, lacerations. Each time bleed triggers, it will increase by two. Hell yeah, I like that. Something extra, I already got that. Opportunist, deal 5 damage, or 9 if the target is bleeding to all enemies. Nice. Well, it's swift. Alright. Block X, equal to twice my energy. Hmm. Nifty. It's cost free. Crimson Slaughter, trigger or bleed. Yeah, well, okay. Let's see what I can do out of this. So, these are quite some options there. So, extra block and overcharge. So, Crimson Slaughter is interesting in so far because it allows me to proc my uh, my, my bleed immediately. Can be pretty useful at times, but, uh, well... Let's uh, see. Opportunist is something that I definitely want to have because it's an AoE burst. Lacerations, we're going to uh, exchange that for one of my attacks here, because I like that. And let's see what's what else. So, Maneuver would be one option. So, I'm going to remove Congeal in favor of Maneuver. Now, let's see if that's uh, enough for now. So, well... I'm somehow tempted to uh, to pick up Crimson Slaughter as well, but I'm not 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 fond of it as of yet. Probably foolish of mine, but uh, we'll see about that. So Bloodthirst, deal eight damage, clot to gain energy. So bloodied enemies give me that spell for free. Duck and weave, sift one, discard a card from my deck. Err, well. No, I want to go this direction there. So, what do you have here? Right arm, left arm, R Chaos, Beast of the Elements. Alright. Removing R Chaos arms will cause him to use what's left even more aggressively, but lose some finesse in the process. So, when this limb is destroyed, R Chaos will suffer damage equal to 50% of his limbs and max HP. And Archaos, at the start of each turn, will gain 1 AP and apply Burning 2. Gain 1 more AP and apply 1 more Burning for each missing limb. Alright, weirdo. Let's do this. I love the uh, enemy design of this game. I really gotta say, there is so much uh, creativity in that. I really, really dig that. So, there's going to be 10 threat incoming, uh, 16 threat it says. I like that. You see here uh, how much is really going to go down there. So we're going to keep the evades on the hand and uh, start stabbing a tiny bit. You know, it's the best I can do for now. And these, well, 16 damage incoming. So the uh, ghostified uh, dude here will be enough. 
uh, you know, the more cards you can get rid of your hand, the better, I think. Alrighty. So, let's see. 14 damage incoming, 22 next turn. It's uh, quite a uh, heavy amount. So, let's do this. Maneuver. Oh, I should have played the maneuver. No, uh, it's okay. So, scheme. Remove the blade storm and uh, keep stabbing. Maneuver will be handy next turn. It's a block with a draw, so we definitely will put this to good use there. There we go. 16 damage by these guys and more because of the burning. And the burning just doesn't stop coming up. Alright, maneuver. Oh yeah, more slow. That's a good thing. Slow is definitely good for us. So now I want to apply shield wall because that's going to help me a ton. And uh, well, let's see. Do I want uh, lacerations or underhanded tactics? I think underhanded tactics right now is way more interesting. So let's do this. And uh, beyond that. I don't think that I want to do more than that. Purging cards is removing burning stacks, so whenever you're burning, purging your hand is good for you. Just so you know. Alright, so let's see. Opportunist. Deal 5 damage or 9 damage. Ah oh, yeah, this is one that we can use several times. So let's use Himalesis first, so I want to, so I can block away something. Let's get into his face. As you see here, this really, really uh, did quite a lot. And I'm going to dissolve the opportunists, and uh, here we go. I think this is okay for me. One damage will seep through, but uh, that's okay. If I take one damage per fight, I'm going to win every level easily. Alright, so here we uh, we see a, uh, a lot of damage incoming, so I really gotta be, gotta be careful about that. So, but luckily, no, oh, I get to maneuver myself out of this. Wonderful. So, let's use the opportunist. Oh. Guy died. <laughs> All right, so oh, I get an artifact out of this guy. Each time void stones are triggered, so if I now knew what kind of void stones are in my cards, mostly, yeah. Well, I think I'm running the blue ones uh, the most right now. Am I? Yeah, I have a couple of these in my deck so far. So, the yellow ones give block. Let's put one extra block upgrade on the maneuver. Because, you know, I feel like 8 block for this card are really now something different. And a void stone, uh, a, um, a energy void stone. I want to put this on the scheme. I really feel like this is a good gem for scheme. And uh, the... Uh, the Rage one, well, let's put that on Seize Exertion, because uh, whenever I have Rage, all subsequent attacks get stronger, and, uh, well, Seize uh, Exertion is something I often play as an opener for my turns, so, yeah. What can I get here? Sil slice in Twain. Deal 20 damage, Clot 5, apply bleed to all other enemies. Alright. Um... That'll sting. Deal 8 damage, apply bleed equal to damage dealt. Well, alright. That's only 8 bleed. Hmm. Add two volatile copies of the next attack played to hand. Yes. This is a good one. If I am able to play that correctly, let's see, is that, uh... Well... So, lacerations will be rigged when I upgrade it. That's also very attractive. Mm 
Let's see. Yeah, let's do this. I like that. What do we have here? Lost and found. A collection of cards and artifacts you had to turn down along your journey. Available to purchase. Mob room. Splatter. Mm, well. Thousand cuts. Apply bleed. Twelve. Yeah, I want that. Let's do this. I'm stupid. Well, I like that, but I want the rewards there more badly. So, symbol of despair. Apply fear. After drawing, discard cards equal to your fear value. Yuck. Now that sucks. So, 11 threat next turn. So... Let's remove something extra here. And, uh, well... Keep that evade on my hand. So, I get to discard now two cards, am I? Yeah, alright. So, let's discard Opportunist and uh, this evade here. So, let's go. That's working out nicely. Nope, not this. Like this. Bam. Alright. So, 13 threat incoming next turn. I cannot do anything against that, but, uh... The next card you play will be sent to your discard and won't be played. Ugh. Alright. So, well, let's, uh, give that up. Luckily, this wasn't the card that I really wanted to go. Void effigy gain. Alright, these guys are... Are healing the effigy. All right, things you have to uh, to uh, work yourself into. So, blade storm for these suckers. So everybody gets some bleed, and I'm going to keep one evade for the next turn because we we are supposed to block something here. So we're getting feared. That's okay. All right, got to discard something. Well. Let's do this like that. I love Himalesis, so... More weakness and all. So let's go for a draw blood. And apply some nice fat bleed stacks on that thing. And underhand tactics. I'm going to dissolve that right now. I want a full uh, hand of cards here. Because we have that stupid hex thingy uh, to tank. So... One card that I'll play won't be get, won't be played in the first place. So let's remove this one, and obviously I need to uh, play one shield wall. I'm not a big fan of being forced to play shield wall like that because I <laughs> I would have preferred to use it in a more uh, in a more useful way. But whatever, we're gonna get there. So. So again, two cards to discard. So this turn I'm going to suffer quite a hot, quite hard, sadly. But I cannot change it. Ten HP are a little bit much, but uh, well, also not convinced that I'm doing my job here too well. But that's okay. I'm new here. I'm allowed to. So, 32 uh, damage incoming, that's quite a lot, isn't it? Okay, so let's uh, slap out the Opportunist. And, uh... Well... Then regret that I have not enough block on my hand to get rid of this guy. So... 17 damage, yikes. Owie. Not really good, but whatever. That's okay. So, the bloated. When this enemy is destroyed, it will deal 10 threat. This enemy is always vulnerable, however, it can never suffer weak. 
While this enemy is alive, your rage is kept at 25%. Alright. Sick. Sick party of enemies. Okay, let's see how that will play out. So, lacerations to uh, piss these people off. Um, scheme, pretty cool too. And let's uh, just solve the other cards so we got all that out. Wonderful. So next turn, there's going to be what I need. Full combo. Well, let's hope for some blocks. Yeah, we got this. So... Let's remove that. Some draw blood here. And then, well... I'm going to keep the Himalesis for the next turn. Let's do it like that. Dissolve the opportunist. I mean, we have to do something next turn as well, so... It'll be okay. So, haunted. Um, void stone powers won't trigger. Alright. So, that could be worse. Mm. So, I need a small amount of block here only. So, let's dissolve that. And, uh, here we go. Lots of... Lots of lots of damage. There we go. So, some blocks for the next turn as well, because it's always important to have these, and uh, we're good to go. This game's a lot of fun. It really is. Okay, so, let's see. First off, Seize Exertion is great to lower the amount of damage incoming for the remainder of the turn. Let's give myself some energy to block the rest of the crap. And let's see, underhanded tactics. Well, why not? Two enemies. Uh, oh, oh no, not two enemies gone, just one gone, but whatever. It's a star, you know? Alright, Shield Wall will get me out of the worst here. And let's do some draw blood action. Lots of bleeds. 20 damage. Jeez. So, let's see. Ugh. Sucks to be me, huh? Not able to tackle this guy this turn. Well, it's only four damage that we're taking, so it could be worse. Really, really could be worse. The Strength Potion. Brew. At the start of each turn, gain 50% rage. Alright. Pretty cool. Definitely should take that on some the more difficult fight there. So I want to upgrade Seize Exertion because that's really a good uh, a good one. So Beast of Malice increase by one for each point of damage inflicted by. At twenty five, his frenzy will increase by one. Resets at the start of your turn. Okay, well. Lower all debuffs suffered by one for each leftover energy. When you cast your spell block, you cast your spell block equal to three times of your spell cooldown. Okay, cool. First time each turn you hit 50 rage combo one. No. I like that one. I like to have my uh, class skill to provide, um, to provide block for me in a, uh, in a pinch. Can't be really awesome, you know. Alright, let's make this guy bleed somehow. Why can't I? Dang it, man. Alright, whatever. Um, going to scheme. And 
and uh, well, we're going to do this like that. The duplicate card uh, gets uh, oh, not discarded at the end of the turn. It does get discarded at the end of the turn. Oh no, I got dazes. All right, so we're already suffering quite a nice amount of damage here from this guy. Thanks. But, luckily, we got our class skill. So. <laughs> Good stuff. We debuffed the hell out of this thing. Alright, got the blocks I need. He molduses the job quite decently. Let's put up a scheme. Always a good thing. Small application of for the throat. And, uh, keeping up the shield wall for uh, for the next turn because I know that I'll be needing it. Ugh, the daisis, man. The daisis. Alright, so maneuver. Shield wall. And some uh, refreshes on the bleeds. Well, next turn will be 18 damage incoming, so I'll want to have one evade. Hey, Alvin, welcome. What up with that? Um, I I love deck builders. Every Friday I play card dinner games. Are you trying to make fun of me? Or am I just stupid? <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to dissolve the shield wall. Also scheme. Draw blood. Bam. Done. Alright, that guy, we totally slapped him. No problem whatsoever. Perfect fight even. So let's see, um, salt in the wound. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, finally. This is one of my favorite lead cards here. This is really, really cool. The Goat, the Vulture, the game. Alright. Start of this turn, if your threat is not at zero, this enemy will gain. Alright. So, fear. Apply fear and vulnerable. Apply threat. Alright, so... So, well, we're going to start out with that, why not? Pretty annoying party, we have to discard two cards on the next hand. So, 11 points of damage incoming, so I'm going to get away this one, and, uh, well... I want to keep Scheme, so we're going to stay on a very, very defensive hand here. Alright, there we go, and keeping the hemolysis for the next turn. What's going to happen there? We get another application of vulnerability. So, yeah. Yes, Elvin, as of these days, well, it's not exclusively. I do stream on uh, Twitch sometimes, too, but that's really just casual streams where, I, uh, where I'm just hanging out, chatting, and uh, doing whatever. But uh, the, the gameplay stuff is all on YouTube nowadays. Yes. Okay, so I have some damage incoming, but we can handle that. Next turn is going to be like that, so this is actually quite good. So let's slap out one hemolysis there, and uh, I am able to put out one draw blood. And make them bleed. Let's do that. Stuff's working out quite nicely so far. And two cards to this card. I don't need scheme, I don't need maneuver or evade. Maneuver or evade. Maneuver can go. Evade is my uh, is my stuff for the next turn. So blade storm to make everybody hurt a bit. And uh, here we go. 
there's a lot of bleed now on everybody. And the best part is that bleed gets uh, stronger every turn due to the Lacerations card. So instead of losing bleed stacks, they gain bleed stacks on every card, uh, every turn, which is something I do like. Are you kidding me? Oh, good thing that uh, we gain so much evade out of, or so much block out of bleeding enemies. It's really saving my butt right now. By the way. Let's put up some nice bleeds on everybody. Spreading the damage on my enemies, mostly because I want to kill them uh, evenly. <laughs> well, Gabo, I, I hear you, man. Oh, I'm allowed to discard one of your uh, curses. Wonderful. Good job, man. I bet you didn't expect it to go like that. So, Evade is going to be not quite powerful enough. The Hemolysis will be, though. Wonderful. So, I have one scheme too much on my hand, sadly. And let's keep that Evade for the next turn. There's a lot of damage on me next turn, but, uh, well... Probably I'll be able to, to, to burst down this fella, too. Who knows? Yeah, underhanded tactics, here we go. So that should be enough to end the fight just like that. Boom! I rock. Perfect fight. Did take a while, but it's been a perfect one. So I also gained as a reward one of my favorite cards, Salt in the Wood. This transforms five bleed stacks into silent shivs, and that's just massive. Let's use that, it's one of my favorite cards. So, let's see, um, draw one, discard one, and rigged. Well, let's see, salt in the wound, we can replace that with some other card here. And what was bloodthirst again? Deal 8 damage, clot, gain energy. Well, dealing damage for free is a great thing. But on the same page, it does kill all my combo, so I'm not down. Thousand cuts sounds good, but it's also quite costy, but at the same time, yeah, why not? Let's do this. Alright, let's go. Mm. Soul Collector. I want to see the Soul Collector. I got so much uh, soul stuff. So, red glasses. Uh, whenever bleed triggers or is reduced, rage. Okay. Hmm. Yes, please. Hemorrhage shrooms. Okay, flask of red juice. Yeah. Bleed artifacts, come on. Why shouldn't I pick these up? So... 250 essence for a random common artifact. Gain three voids and a random rare artifact. No, we're just gaining a common one. Voodoo doll. At the start of each battle, apply weak to all enemies. That's amazing. As a matter of fact, it's really, really good. Alright, another elite fight. The hag. When you play an attack before it triggers, you will suffer two threat. Each time you draw a bane, this enemy increases its frenzy, so we'll require a lot of blocks this turn. Ah, uh, this one. Every fourth non-balanced swift attack played is balanced. Pretty sick. At the end of each turn, spend one combo to delay draw one. No thanks. I like that one. Okay. Oh boy, this is nice. So next turn will be no threat either, so can play one scheme and one uh, I dissolved the wrong scheme. The the other the, uh I destroyed the one that would have given me extra energy next turn. Whoopsie. So uh Haunt is uh disabling my void stones, so there's one attack incoming. So let's put up some seize exertion. Oh boy, lowered that to three. Jeez. So yeah, why not? Slap in some damage and uh, keep one evade. 
Oh, oh, oh no. Whenever I attack, I, I need to. Of course, of course. Forgot about that. So, my combo amount is super low now. So we can discard that. This fight is even more annoying, yeah, kind of. So, next turn will be no threat either. The thing here is, whenever I attack, I need to be able to... Uh, basically, with this fight, I need to uh, apply my evades and blocks at the end of the turn, and not at the beginning of the turn. I need to wait until everything is resolved and then, and then go for the uh, defenses. See here, I'm... Uh, I'm now hurting myself. So there's a fat attack incoming next turn. Let's uh, save up some resources for that, especially the energy. But the hag seems to be extremely vulnerable against slow. She's rocking a lot of frenzy. Alright, so let's see, what can we do? Salt in the wound? It's going to be pretty sick. Also applying lots of... Uh, problems to me, but that's okay. I think I have the energy to get that done. So here we go. Underhanded tactics. I'm going to discard that for the sake of my safety. Oh yeah, seize exertion. That's a great one. And there's still nine block missing, so we're going to use the class skill get block out of that and keep that evade for the next turn. Pretty easy so far, the bleed is really really clapping and uh, we're getting there. So we have one card that will be killed. So let's destroy the blade storm, we won't be missing that card too much. So there's a low amount of damage incoming, so easy solution to that, let's evade that done. Keep the splatter for our next turn because most likely I'll be able to splatter the hag out of that. So here we go. Let's see. Should be enough, shouldn't it? Yep. There we go. Pretty easy fight altogether, at least for what I'm playing here. It was working really good against that. Deck of Whirl plus... Uh, okay, no. Max combo is increased by one this turn. Combo one. More hemolysis. Well, that's a difficult choice, but I think I want the agility. Card upgrade. So agility. What? What is? Uh, what's going on if we upgrade that? This is now then for. This is a. Oh yeah, a for free card is awesome. I want that. Combo for free. Yes, please give me. So, what card is really not used too much here? Thousand Cuts is only technically interesting. Practically, it's uh, I'm way more down for agility. Deck building is quite uh, complex in this game. So, Chosen Champion. The Unholy King. When defeat, five Banes are added to my deck. Yuck. Alright, better kill this guy last, but uh, whatever, we'll see about that. So, 16 threat on the next turn, are we? So... We're going to delay lacerations this time, for the sake of uh, a evade available on the next turn. Way more important right now, in my humble opinion than being uh, here um, too uh, focused on activating the buff. Alright, 10 damage incoming, let's see. I want to spread a bit more bleeds on top of my enemy, but uh, well, not happening here right now. That's a little bit sad, isn't it? So let's see if the maneuver is uh, giving me something. No. Nope. Not really. Pity. Let's see, maybe I can get something here. Yeah, that's working on out nicely. Alright. 
So, this one, that one, this one, and those. Salt in the Wound is just so massively powerful if you rock a high combo counter. Because you get a lot of uh, a lot of bleed out of that. Really like this game. It's a lot of fun, and uh, there's a good chance that you're going to see this uh, a lot more often than my Fridays here. So, 15 damage incoming. That is a pretty good thing. So, let's uh, do this. Mm. I'm going to dissolve uh, this one here to, for that turn, and uh, like this and like that. Blade Storm to put some bleeds on everybody. And there we go. I mean, we have to uh, we have to reach our goal at some point, don't we? All right, 12 damage incoming for this turn, which is uh, quite frankly not much. So we're going to be able to. Do what? So I got splatter on my hand. Let's do this. And let's do that. Remove splatter, and uh, I think hemolysis should be actually doing the trick. Yep. Yeah. Great. So. Hmm. She healed herself like that. That's one problem about bleed. The enemy gets to act before the bleed um, procs. I find that quite fair, you know. Other games are, in the, are giving enemies not that many chance, not that much chance, or you know how to put it. So, there we go. Let's go for one evade and, ah, like that. All right. Here I'm taking a lot of... Uh, I was taking a lot of uh, attention into not killing the king first, because his passive is adding five banes into my deck if I dare to. And uh, honestly, this is quite problematic if that happens. Would be a really really high amount of clutter in my deck and i don't want that to happen so let's do this underhanded tactics yes please lots of damage incoming for that sucker and uh draw blood and i win just like that boom perfect victory again hell yeah we're killing it So let's see scheme. Yeah, let's uh, let's upgrade the scheme cards. I have enough discard effects that it is paying off at this point. The birth pit. When targeted by an attack or an ally is killed, increased frenzy. All right, resets after attacking. All right. So increases by one each time you draw a card, and ten this enemy gains one attack point. It sucks. All right. So we're going to see eight damage next turn, and he's going to grow his pinkies. I haven't come up with this by myself. It's just what's uh, what's noted there. All right, so shield wall coming up for my for me next turn, so I'll be just uh, chilling here. All right. Oh yeah, maneuver is uh, way better than the first plan. Well, yeah, let's clap out agility and. Uh, Opportunist is at this point pretty decent, because it does do one really cool thing, it weakens the enemy quite quite a lot. Let's keep the Hemolysis for the next turn. Okay, nice. Alright, one more Bladestorm available for me. 
and I got 13 block available there, so we're better off with this form of block. There we go. One blade storm incoming, and uh, well, underhanded tactics. Yeah, let's do this here. Debuffing the sky a little bit more. I do appreciate that as a good idea. Alright, so let's play one more evade, so I'm not suffering any damage whatsoever. Keep hemolysis for the next turn, because I think it's going to be a smart choice. And let's see, there's a lot of damage incoming, but it's the last fight of this chapter, so it's okay. I feel like we're, uh, we're okay with, uh, with suffering here some, but delayed blocks come in handy here by a lot. Okay. So, for the throat, I'm going to discard that, and let's clap out the big block, and uh, we're at zero. Wonderful. So, scheme coming up next turn, so I am able to just uh, clap out all my combo points, because next turn I'll get new combo points, and that's just... Uh, let's dissolve the scheme here as well. I'd rather take the extra energy. Alright, lots of damage incoming next turn. I really hope that I get something to block with. I do have Salt in the Wound available. Massive. And I got a nice uh, block card as well, so... Stuff's coming together quite nicely. Alright, let's start out with Salt in the Wound because I love that spell. Especially if I have a maximum combo. There's a lot of combo incoming, uh, not a lot of threat incoming next turn. So whenever this guy is getting attacked, he's uh, racking up his damage. So, just came back, what's up? Yeah, well, this is boss fight of the of the second act. That's, uh, that's what's up. So, we're going to play the uh, discard version here. Boom. Discard scheme for more combo. Well, okay, that was bullshit, but whatever. I'm going to... Well, got a lot of block available. Let's just keep it like that. So, 28 block necessary for the next turn. We're settled. Your first run took you two hours? Well, I don't know how many bosses I have to clap. I'm at 130 at the second boss right now, so I think I'm also not too fast right now. Okay, so let's do this. Um, let's weaken our enemies one more time, give myself the 28 block I need, and uh, let's just keep clapping, shall we? There we go. So, there's 16 threat incoming. Mm. Well, whatever. Just want to kill that thing for good. Third floor is three boss fights, basically. Alright, then uh, that means I'm not far away from getting the job done here. Nice. Game's awesome so far. Alright, let's use Splatter to kill the boss here. Ooh. Got my finishers, you know. New spell! Retaliate! So, Promise of Power, gain two upgrade points, random void stones, uncommon artifact, yes please. And, uh, let's see. Additional 10 max HP, yes please. So what do we get here? Trusty Snack, overcharge grants two energy. Hell yeah. So, what do we have here? The Void, where you can unleash your remaining souls to inflict damage to the Void. So, to fight the Void, you must first beat two of his Vault Guardians, each of which will grant you unique blessings for... Okay. Er? So... Ah, here. I see. Blessing of Stealth. Stop the fight against the Void with Stealth and NG. Alright. Ah, I see. Here, I get to select here. The Void will spawn with one less frenzy. 
During the Void Fight, the first cut played each turn costs one less. That sounds pretty tasty for me. During the Void Fight, enemies will suffer week one at the start of the turn if they're over 75% HP. We're going to start with the Spider Nest. I hope I won't be regretting that. This is a lot of fun. I like that game so much. Especially, especially because this game has no unlock bullshit. Like, uh, here, when you start the game, you get to play the entire game right from the get-go. There's, um, there are no locked cards, there are no cards that I can't use yet because I'm not, uh, deep enough in the game and whatnot, no. It's, uh, you, you have the entirety of the card available, uh, cards available right away. You just get the ability to, um, to select certain cards for your future runs. And that's what I really, really, really like about this game a lot. There are some unlockables, but uh, the most unlockables were not really, um, were more, co the most unlockables that I saw were cosmetic. So, the white spiders are damn bursty. They do a lot of damage, look at that. They are extremely frenziful. Hmm. Too bad that I don't have any slow available, that would be really kick-ass. Well, maybe we draw one of our slows, but uh, doesn't look good. Salt in the wound is just not uh, or not there for us right now, but that's no biggie. We're going to just uh, use draw blood here and uh, start messing up one of those spooters. And uh, well, ah no, I'm going to dissolve that. There's a, there's a, tons of threat coming next turn. I want all the cards that I can get. Well, the cards that were unlocked by the character classes, they are available during my runs already. I've seen all the cards that were supposed to be unlockable during my first run right away. So, seize exertion, wonderful. Slow. Boom. That's good. So, 39 damage next turn. My god. These critters are so hurtful. Okay, let's slap out Lightstorm, and uh, here we go. I have uh, realized all the block that I need. Good. Next turn, I would be able to also block them in, if necessary. And that Void Spooter is going to die soon. This enemy loses one Frenzy each time it is the target of an attack card, up to a minimum of one, I see. So slapping them does make them attack less. Got it. Alright, let's uh, do this. Uh, God, discard. Let's discard one scheme for more of that. Let's use the opportunist. Boom. There we go. 24 damage incoming. We should be able to block a portion of that, aren't we? So let's get rid of that. Play that card, yes, yes, I need that. Discard one of these. Clap that guy with that, take one damage, mission accomplished. I think that's okay. Yeah, I figured that, that the bleed build is one of the simpler ones, that's why I uh, started rocking it, because I feel like this game has a lot of complexity going on for itself and therefore it's a great thing if you have a uh, if you have a um, a build that's giving you an easy access good god i'm going to get clapped so hard now so trying to reduce the amount of uh, damage coming in for the next turn somehow but uh these Void Spiders are really, really nasty pickles. 35 damage there. Ow. Luckily there's finally Hemolysis and Shield Wall coming up for me again. There's also one uh, big ev evade, so I'm saved. I'm saved. Alright, so let's dissolve more cards. Sadly this won't get me anywhere. Ow. 
I hate you, Spooders. Alright, Splatter would be uh, popping those guys rather quickly. I think this will help me a lot. So, let's do this. Uh, discard that thing. Splatter that thing. And I win. Well, okay. Bit of damage, but uh, I guess that's been okay. Hey, Lewis, welcome. Happy to see you, man. So, we got the first fight down. Blessing of efficiency done. So, let's see, is there anything else where I want to upgrade one of my cards? This turn, when an enemy takes damage, apply bleed. Add one hidden blade, no thanks. Mm. So, rigged card. Is there any card that I really want to have on turn one? I think agility is one of those rigged cards that I'd love to have. Because it, it's, it's super awesome to have this like that. And then, well, a copy. Which card would I love to copy these days? Is there any? Salt in the Wound would be awesome to be copied. Let's do that. Most of the time I won't be able to afford it, but if I am able to afford it, it will be outright amazing. So I'll do that. And apart from that, we have one blue gem available. Well, let's use that on Lacerations. It's pretty weird to put that on a buff card in the first at the first glance, but actually it's not, in my humble opinion. So, let's see, the Queen of Ages, uh, well, the Puppet Master, let's do this, yeah, this game isn't exactly that new, it's been around since a while, but the uh, full version is pretty new, so, it has been released only uh, very recently. So here, Lazarations, giving me the ability to swap cards accordingly. I like that. Alright, so let's see how that'll play out. Low amount of threat incoming. Looks pretty, uh, pretty harmless now, the first plants, but, uh, well... Oh, I got a Scheme card, wonderful. So, let's use the uh, underhanded tactics there. Boom. buffing the hell out of this guy. So he's just applying a constant amount of threat on me. But I'm well able to uh, to get myself through that so far. So we're going to destroy these cards. So don't want to play Salt in the Wound this turn because I wanted to prep it up because I can't get it uh, twice now if I do it right. And, uh, you know, this is, in my opinion, very, very um, appealing to get that card going twice. Alright, so let's do this like that. One evade. And there we go. We have now six silent ships. So. Racking up the bleed to some uh, decent point. Exit stage right. Replace top deck card with two banes. Alright, whatever. Let's transform C's exertion away because I don't feel like I need that card too much. There's some Banes incoming, so inflict 45 threat. Now, that's more what we expect to see. So, well... It's okay, though. So the Bane cards get destroyed at the uh, end of my turn here, so there's nothing to be worried about. The only thing we have to be worried about is now the fact that we, are, uh, that we have to get somehow a lot of block together, but let's see how we're going to get that done. So there's 28. There's Splatter, not be really being useful at all. But well. 
so 28 damage, but this guy's popping in return, so, well, okay. Could have been worse, could have been worse, could have been better too, but whatever. Alright, so... Let's put my healing potion into my brew slot, so we're, uh... Or oh, wait a sec, can I uh, equip two of these? Yeah, alright, so... Let's make this like that. Okay. Let's see how this will play out. The Void. Um, more we'll gain one attack point every turn, and whenever debuffs are reduced, they go down by one more. We'll always be evasive whilst those minions are alive. Can't be the target of attack cards if there are enemies without evasive. Alright, so I need to destroy the minions first. Got it. Alright, the first card this turn is cheaper, so we play this one, and that one. I get to discard something, well, let's discard the uh, splatter then. So... Scheme, and well, probably want to play that opportunist though. Because opportunist is pretty nice, because it allows me to deal a lot of damage to everybody there. So, we don't need the evades here, that's pretty interesting, not used to that kind of uh, situation there, and now we're going to clap out some nice AoE this way. Okay, 13 threat incoming next turn, so we're going to, uh, well, just prep up for the next turn. <laughs> well, I'm bad for people's wallets, I know. I'm sorry about not being sorry. Well, this game has been on early access available since quite some time, but uh, the full release has been uh, a couple of days ago. I think two or three. So I've been uh, skulking around that game since a while, you know, because I I knew that this one uh, would be uh, a awesome title. So, seize exertion. Yes, let's do that. I want to spread slows on these fellas. So, 16 damage incoming next turn. Well, it's pretty easy. Let's slap out a maneuver. One extra evade. Let's see. Oh yeah, I gain extra combo by discarding this card. It's very, very satisfying. And let's start clapping out other... Uh, some more bleeds to other people and... Uh, Underhanded tactics, oh well, only works well if the enemy is attacking, hmm. yeah, well, whatever. I need to deal damage, so I'll do it. So, go, the Void is healed, it's, um, enemy, it's, it's allies. But I got a big fat evade card available, so I don't really need to worry too much about anything. So, Blade Storm is cheapened. Shield Wall comes right away. And, well, next turn is 18 threat, sadly. So, well. Whatever. Let's play one salt in the wound and uh, clap out some, uh, some shivs here. Cannot play the cot twice right now, which sucks a bit, but it ain't the end of the world. We can do that next time, probably. No B. Alright. Because it's really important that I got my uh, blocks available here. So, 12 damage incoming. It's not too, wor uh, too bad. Let's go for this one here. <laughs> well, you're supposed to play the games you uh, you bought, <laughs> but I'm not the one to judge here. So, let's do more Salt in the Wound here, and I'm going to remove 
these cards here so I can do Salt in the Wound twice. So we got a really nice amount of uh, attacks going on here. So, here goes. Those minions are clapping quite hard by now, but it's okay. So, 17 damage, and I'm in vulnerability mode, so... Yuck. Scrap. Automatically discarded at the end of enemy turn. Alright. Got it. So, let's see. I got underhanded tactics available, so I would be able to just burst out somebody here. Let's do this. I want to get rid of that guy, because I'll take a quite substantial amount of damage this turn. Cannot change it this time. So, alright. Scheme to pump out more energy. Draw blood. Gets converted. And uh, the debuffs get on the get clapped on the enemy. And you know what? We're, we're going to use the class skill for some, uh, for some free block. Well, Erin North is a game that definitely uh, deserves way more attention, in my humble opinion. There's uh, there's just too much goodness going on. Alright, we got the Void now. Penitence. If in hand at the end of turn, suffer Fumble 2. Alright. Scrap. Unplayable. Fumble. The next X non-affliction cards to draw are sent to the discard. Yuck. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Alright. then let's do this. So, Opportunist. Well, I don't want to lose all my uh, combo right now, so... Okay, Penitence will strip me off of some hands, uh, some cards there, but, uh, well, whatever. There's worse. So, the Void Ignites. Apply Burning, then Attack. Alright, 7 damage, that's all. Well, that's quite a low amount, isn't it? So, Blade Storm, let's go for the Throat. Wherever the Void has its throat, I don't care. Hey, El Azel, welcome. Happy to see you, man. So, 20 damage incoming next turn. I hope I'm be I'll be able to uh, dig through that. So, yeah, Hemolysis and a regular evade with the option to discard wonderful combo and a small one culminating in some bleed what's not to like about that cool even got one uh, evade card for the next turn left pretty decent all right so apply stun add one days then attack yuck so I got a big fat scheme on my hand, that's pretty good. Let's use that right away. So... Let's discard Splatter. And, well... I already played Scheme, so let's play Opportunist. There we go. Because Scheme will refill my combo this turn, so it's better to use the card that it eats up all the combo. Oh no, not Penitence! Oh yuck. This is pretty rough. But luckily I got my class skill, which will give me some block here. Good thing that I did that. Underhanded attack also comes in super handy because it debuffs the hell out of the uh, boss there. Sadly, 6 damage will still seep through, but oh, that's okay. So... Good god! My deck is full of crap! So all these cards are just useless. Sucks, man. Alrighty, so, well, I don't have any uh, defensive cards on my hand right now. 
Oh boy. That sucks. Luckily I got that health potion still. So it could have been easily the end of my uh, of my run otherwise. But let's see about that. Alright, let's go one more time for the throat. So, well, in two turns I win, in two turns uh, this thing also wins, so it's a very, very close fight, but I think I'm winning also slightly. Yeah, the curse cards are really hard in this one, especially since this game limits your hand cards quite hard. Like, um, extra card draw is uh, pretty hard to come by in this game, as, as far as I felt it. Take that void. You lose. So you see, I even I, I it, it took me also two hours. But I'm I'm proud of myself. Okay, it's the uh, it's the first time I I did this and I I I I, I, I beat it the right away at the first time. So that's pretty cool, isn't it? So this game is a lot of fun. That's all I can say. So. Here, so at the uh, choose a card. So all of these cards were available during the run. So something extra, for example, was available. None of these was uh, was not available, and that's what I love about this game. So scatter shot, sustenance, so slick strike. Juggle. Well, I want the scatter shot. So let's see what does the mastery do. You'll be able to add it to your backpack at the start of future runs, and that's what it does. You basically only get to choose what kind of card you uh you will take into the next uh, run there. Yeah, the next difficulties, I imagine. So. All right, everybody. I thank you so so much for watching. This has been the uh, first uh, run there. We're going to go for more next time or so. So leave me your comments down below. Leave me a thumbs up or a subscription if you haven't done so already. If you missed the stream live, there is Discord, there is Twitter, and these have all the announcements you need. So go there and check it out. Or you do the bell thing on the subscription and you get notifications as well. Last but not least, check out Patreon, check out Paypal. The links are in the description box. And as a full-time content creator that I am, I can use all the help that I can get. So thanks everybody and see you all next time and enjoy gaming.